Good morning, my friends. It is 9.30, and in the past seven, eight hours since I've seen you last, I started reading this book called Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, and I'm excited to read this book, uh, learn more about his thinking and the Stoic philosophy. Today, we got work to get done, and we got people to see. I'm seeing my grandparents. We're gonna be outside wearing masks. I'm excited to see them. I haven't seen them in a while. I also have a meeting with my trainer at 11 o'clock, so that's in about an hour and a half. And I gotta get rolling, gotta get to work, gotta get some uh, homework done and learning to do. I'll catch you soon. Peace. Hello, my friends. Hello, hello, hello. Right now, it's 12.30 and I finished speaking with my trainer. I got the work that I had to get done out of the way this morning. So now I have to focus on getting my reading done for Entrepreneurship 340, Managing Entrepreneurial Growth, and uh, then my early stage venture funding class. And then I get to go see my grandparents. I'm so excited. All right, I'm on my rollerblade and I will catch you soon. Peace. What's up, my friends? It is around 5.15 right now and I'm just doing some more work before I go to my grandparents' house. And I spent the afternoon doing work. And also, I was at a conference for the fraternity I'm in with all the chapters. And it was actually really fun and engaging. They set it up really well online using this software, the service. I'm not, I don't really remember what it's called, but it made it fun because you were able to kind of break out into rooms. There's a schedule and there was a chat and I was I was going ham in the chat. That was, that was one of my highlights for sure. So now I'm just doing some more work and uh, I'm off to see my grandparents soon. Peace. What's up, my friends? I am with my favorite people in the entire world, my grandparents. I love them so much and they're going to just talk for a little bit. Every morning when I'm up around 8 o'clock in the morning, the first thing that I do is check my computer to see whether my wonderful grandson, Zachary, <laughs> has posted something. And it really gets my mind going in the morning because he has some very interesting thoughts. And he is very, um, uh, what's the word that I want? Motivated. Motivated. So when he does something really grand that he's excited about, it, it makes me excited. And I learn from him because he's learning things in school that I never learned. So it's, it's a growth situation for him, and it's also a growth situation for me. So I thank him very much for doing this. And someday when he has his own children, they can look back on these podcasts, right, or YouTube logs, and see what their father has done and how far he has come and how, what they have to emulate. Hopefully he's going to be somebody that they're going to want to emulate. Oh my God. Right? <laughs> you just called me a father. Right? <laughs> not yet, not, not yet. yet. I'm not ready for you to be father. Although I would love to be a great grandma. I know you would. Don't worry, I, grandma, uh, I'll be one soon. Right. I, I, oh, oh gosh, I can wait. I'm in no hurry. I'll give you one. <laughs> I'm no hurry. So it, it, it has been a very interesting experience for me to see him on, on, on the computer every day because I am more or less computer illiterate. And I'm learning, thank God, from my grandchildren how to be more literate. Pretty much everything you put on is very positive, and I think that's a wonderful way to start your day, to be positive. And if you start, look, every day can't be wonderful. Mm -hmm. can't it's, be. It can't be wonderful. If every day was wonderful, you'd never appreciate what was wonderful. So what do you think about the name Best Day? You can tell me honestly. It could be your, your best day because it's better than the day before. That's kind of like yeah. the philosophy. Right? right? The philosophy is that this is going to be my best day. I'm going to do the best that I can. I'm it's going to make something of this day. I'm going to make it count. It's and great. you know why that's important? Because I keep telling your grandfather that you cannot recapture time. Once it's here, it's gone. The present. Every second is, is, is precious. Make the most of every minute. Don't waste your time. 
I am a strong believer in that. I really try to make the most of every minute. And Grandpa so tells his grandchildren minute. to follow their father. His father was very, their father was very focused. This is my dad. And, and it's He's very crazy. important. He's an absolute genius. So, uh, wait, wait sorry, Grandpa. Their father is very, very smart and, and focused. And that's what you have to be in today's environment. You have to be focused and, and know what you're, what what you want to do and focus on that goal so it was really it was really nice seeing my grandparents um grandpa's right there any any last things to say final i'm gonna be i'm probably gonna be back tomorrow most likely how much what percentage grandma what percentage of what of that i'll be back tomorrow oh i'm gonna say 99 percent i said 90 percent but you said 90 percent well 100. i hope that that 10 percent is not going to be relevant. It will be 100. It will be 100%. Yeah, I'll be back. And I'll tell you why. What? Because Grandpa and I treasure the time and that we can spend with you because it's so seldom. With you away in school and with COVID, we're not spending time with the family the way we used to. Yeah. So when you're able to come visit us and we can sit apart and just visit, it's very, very special. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, just trying to make sure it's as safe as we can, but it's it's definitely not easy to go this long without really seeing you. I've seen you what twice in the past eleven months. Yeah, it's it, 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 it's it's wait longer because I didn't see you um, before I came home. Like it's just been a. But you know the one good thing. Time. I mean, uh, the one thing about you that I love, Zach, is that you are able to find the best and under worst situations. Oh. And and you have said to me how how you have gained things from COVID. You're not looking at it necessarily as a negative. You have pulled out the positives that, that have happened through COVID. And most people don't do that. They just focus on the negatives, of which there are plenty for sure. But I was very impressed by the fact that, that you are able to pull out how you have grown through covid that you would never have had those experiences had covid not happened thank you for that i think i i, I get it from you um i just you know like the person that i am today wouldn't i wouldn't be me if it if it wasn't for covid so i'm thankful for like the zach today and if covid didn't happen to be a totally different zach i'm sure he'd be fine but the person that i am today i i like so that was really nice for you to say but what, how do I end it, Grandma? Let, how, how, you end it. I hope you what? Have a wonderful evening and make tomorrow the best day ever. You have to... Peace. 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 What time you leave Peace.